Welcome to this tutorial on how to play Intentions by Macklemore. We're in standard tuning, there's no capo, it is all bar chords, so if you're a beginner, I wouldn't recommend this song, and I'd also recommend using an electric guitar, because it's a little easier to press down on the strings. Alright, so we're going to start out here with a C chord, C bar chord. So you're going to have your index finger barring your 3rd fret, 5th string down, ring finger barring the 5th fret, 4th string down. And we're going to pick our top root note, so the A string, and then our G and our B strings. Using your index and your middle finger. Right after that, we're going to slide up to a G position. So you're going to continue barring the 3rd fret, but you're going to be barring all 6 strings. Your middle finger is going to be on the 4th fret of the G. Ring finger on the 5th fret of the A, pinky right under on the 5th fret of the D. And now you're going to continue picking the G and the B, but you're also going to switch the root note to the top E string. And you're going to pick all those at the same time. So going back to our C chord, pick your A and the G and the B. And then we quickly slide to our G chord. And we play those three strings. Next up, we slide down to an A minor, so you're going to be barring all six strings on the 5th fret, ring finger on the 7th fret of the A, and pinky right under. Make sure to leave your middle finger off, and you're going to pick the E string, and then the G and the B strings. And right after you do that, you're going to slide down to an F chord, so your index is barring all six strings on the first fret, middle finger on the second fret of the G, ring finger on the third fret of the A, and pinky right under on the third fret of the D. And then we're going to pick the E and then the G and the B all simultaneously again. Okay, so starting from the beginning, we have our C, G, A minor, to our F. And that's it. So you just start going back over to the C to start the um, chord progression up again. So A minor to our F, C, G, A minor, F, and then you can end on C. So you can play that throughout the entire song and it'll sound great. If you'd like to do um, the part where they add in during the chorus, it sounds like this, they're going to go like, they're going to start picking instead. So that part, they're just switching up the chord progression a little bit. You can start on your C chord. And we're just going to pick the root note, so that A string, and then we're going to pick the G, B, G. We're going to slide up to an E minor, so 7th fret, barring middle finger on the 8th fret of the B, ring finger on the 9th fret of the D, and pinky right under on the 9th fret of the G, and then pick those same strings. Slide that same position down to the 5th fret for a D minor, pick the same strings again. And then we're going to go to our F chord, and then back to the C. Okay, so that part sounds like this. And when you come back to the C, you're going to play that same um, strumming there. You're going to go up to your E minor, same notes, and then this time you're going to go back to an A minor. So you're there you're picking that E string instead of the A, and then to your F. So playing that whole thing together, it sounds like this. D minor, F, C, E minor, A minor, F, back to your C. And you can jump back into the regular strumming, so.
All right, so that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.